Yo, hello there. Got a bit of camera glare. Bit of camera glare. That should go as the sun goes down, as it is doing right now. Welcome to the Buicore live MTB show from my ass. But that doesn't sound very good. My, uh, yeah. House. Um, God, what episode is it? Fifty. And how old am I? Because it's a special occasion. Don't let her. Oh yeah, I forgot. So uh evening. Evening Will Rooney. Taking the night off football. Sorry, I bet loads of people say that to you. Like Wayne Rooney, yeah. Right, oh is it? <laughs> That's what I meant. Five man, Archie Marshall. So what happened to Tom? We'll tell you in a bit. Well basically he just crashed at the pump track and I went to pick him up literally like an hour ago. Uh, Matt Tempany, Mike Terry, Big Jazz, how tall did you fall off? I'm so sorry to hear this. Hope your teeth are okay. Yeah, he's all right. He's, My teeth are sore. They've moved a bit. His um, his helmet's uh, definitely worked, hasn't it? Yeah. Um. So yeah, should you tell me what happened in a bit when we got a few more viewers? Yeah. Not really. Like what to say is a bit, you know. It a lot. Yes. Milka chocolate is elite from Will Rooney. In I wouldn't know. Food. Wouldn't know. Yeah. Oh, thanks, mate. Right. Mm. So, what's going on, folks? Um, yeah, when will you be coming back? We've got them. Tommy T and a lot of traveling up every now and then. Mm. Uh, We've had the invite, but I've got to wait for my hands to get better. I am riding again, but um, I think a weekend of Scotland might be pushing it a little bit too far at the moment. It's still quite sore. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, turn that camera a bit. You've got your hmm, jump bike on a bit better. There we go. Still a bit bright, but it'll get better. Mouth ah. hurty. So how is everybody? How, has anybody, um, no, no, oh yeah, close light, yeah. I'm <laughs> sure you're not lying to say, yeah. Uh, has anyone seen these new, um, is it X Games? Mm -hmm. These little mini edits by X Games are absolutely amazing. The Brage Vestavik, if that is how you say his name. And uh, what was the other one, our favourite, our favourite rider? Can't remember his name. Brandon Seminet. Brandon Seminet looks amazing. Makes all those absolute mental tricks look like they're nothing, doesn't he? Mm. Jim, how did you meet Sonny? Uh, racing, I think. Just through. He, he used to live in Shrewsbury. Uh, I mean, he's from Birmingham and he moved to Shrewsbury, and I got to know him through riding and group rides and shop rides. Uh, then I went to, I think I went to a couple of races with him and yeah, we just hit it off. That was probably, how long ago, maybe six years ago, something like that. Mm. I'm wearing one of Todd's hats. This is the, one of his FSRB hats. For, are these for sale on the site? Mm. Is this just a sample? I haven't got them yet. Are you getting some? And I have ordered 20 bucket hats like this uh, with the pinned logo on. We've got down there, we've got a load of look what arrived this week. We've got competition stuff that we'll give away at nine o'clock. The look what arrived this week, we will do at half past eight. You all right? Yeah, yeah. unless you just mm -hmm. order the bucket hats. Okay, we'll probably do it later. Yeah, but he's printing at the moment, isn't he? Butley bad boy, high pinned, buzzing your back. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, bro, bro, your bro. Archie Marshall has spelt it for us, but I don't actually know how you say that. Yeah. One. B R A U. I googled it. G U E. And it says Brage, but then his he That's gets like called Brage, so I just yeah. Brage, yeah. Let's turn my uh, sounds off. Is there any comments on there, Todd? Made from Fifty Freddy Max Money at the gay bar. Uh, good one. 
You'd know. <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, what would the giveaway be? Uh, loads of stuff. Um, should we show them? Yeah, I'll pass it in and I'll show them, go through it. I'll get a bit, a bit of a close-up on. Right, giveaway tonight. I've gone dead loud because I'm by the microphone. We have a Burkor tote bag. Tote bag Burkor. We have two DMR stem, uh, stem caps there. We have a bunch of stickers and we'll chuck some pin stickers in as well. Concentrated bike cleaner. That makes two litres of Fenwick's, the best bike cleaner. A set of DMR Death Grips, brand new. These are the flangeless wide in whatever that red's called. New merch, which we are now selling, but I'm going to give one of these away. Um, that is the pinned bottle opener, stainless steel. Lovely bit of kit. You can buy them. How much are they on the merch site? I think they're £6.50, but I think I'm going to make them cheaper. Oh, yeah. They're a bit pricey, do you think? Yeah. So, they'll be, what? Make them a fiver. Let's do them for a fiver, shall we? Uh, more stickers. And finally, we have we have a pinned top that doesn't have a size on it. So, I, said, I think this was sent to us as a sample. To me, it looks like either a medium or a large. Um, no, an extra large. Is an extra large? That's not an extra large. No way. Yeah. Either way, we'll give it away. Either way, we'll give it away. So that's all the stuff. That'll be going at 9 o'clock when we will be asking you a question. So keep them peeled. The question may involve something that we say tonight. And then we've got a load of other stuff down there, which is what arrived this week. But we'll do that in a bit. How many have we got watching, Rodney? And have we got any more questions? I can't tell because it's white behind the white writing. Uh, 114. No, that's not bad. Only 17 likes, though. Everyone must hate us. Um, uh, Harry Bear liking the bucket, Jim Bob. Cheers. And um, a very I, Kevin and Perry esque bucket hat. I used to wear these bucket hats when I was into the Raven in the 90s, so I'm going to. Uh, What's re not reunite them? What's the word? Revive. Revive them in the old people. <laughs> <laughs> um any more details on the pinned weekend? Uh it's no we are not going to go and chase a bloody pigeon. Uh it's definitely going ahead. It is the eleventh and twelfth of September, possibly the tenth as well. I might do a bit of a gravel ride on a Friday before all the mountain bike rides for our gravel friends. But I don't know. I'll need a guide, and I don't know if there's any round there. But I've got a while to sort that out. Uh, been speaking to Reese, who owns the campsite. It's all on. You can actually book your nights there from Friday night till Monday night. Well, whenever you want, I guess. Um, so get in touch with him about that. It's free to get in. Uh, we'll have a few people there showing their wares, like Rocky Mountain, Ion, um, and I don't know, I, I've contacted someone who does food, they haven't got back to me yet, they said they're going to check the diary, but that was a while ago, but I'll, closer to the time, I'll see, you know, it's all a bit up in the air, all these people who do events that, you know, they don't know what they're doing at the moment, do they? But it'll be happening, whether no one turns up, it'll be happening, so, you know, it's up to you. Um... Harry talk on Siri, yeah, Harry meant Siri the other day, I'm going to get jealous. Oh, told me. I was going to go and try and do them on Monday, but I don't think I'll be right. Um, bet Jim had a Kango bucket hat back in the day. Yeah, I did actually, yeah. <laughs> I had on them tops, a uh, long-sleeved grey, like a t-shirt, with... It had the embassy number, embassy number one logo on the front, but it said ecstasy number one. Don't know why. I must have just been really happy. <laughs> um, Oliver Seven, I'm copying one of those hoodies on me. We've got to be quick. 
because I ordered um, another two smalls and I've got them and they're the last ones that I'm going to do. So if you want to be quick. Shall we uh, tell, or do you want to tell people what happened tonight? Uh, yeah. In great detail, we want the ins and outs of this, Rodney. So, I well, was at the pump track. Yes. Riding there for a bit. Yes, that's two things we've established already before you spoke. Yeah, well you said go into detail. Okay. There's not really yeah. much I can go into detail about. Um, did a whip, landed funny, and spat myself over the bars and landed on my head. And then what happened? Um, I, I wasn't knocked out. But then I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine to my mate, Sam Croft, if you're on here. And then I tried to get up and passed out. Yes. And then he phoned his dad and said, uh, can you come pick me up? I think I've crashed again. And so I had to trundle across, across town and it, I turned up and he's there with his, that bike, I haven't even touched it. The bars are all twisted. Uh, I'll show you the helmet. Absolute massive props. Keep hold of him, so he didn't go chasing bloody birds. Massive props to Cali. He's wearing the Invader helmet, and these are renowned for their amazing protection. So there you go. There's a scrape all across the chin piece, and the other side he's got a bit of blood there from his brace digging in his gum. There, uh, digging was it your gum or oh, in your lip? I guess. Lip. Um, but he's all right. We wouldn't definitely wouldn't have done the show if he wasn't all right. Yeah. Um, and he lives to tell the tale and ride another day. It did worry me though earlier on, Todney. I will admit. Yeah. I wasn't too. Uh, yeah, wasn't feeling too good driving across town. I was wondering, you want to show him what you've done as well? Uh, yes, yeah, so I've got a block a couple of waffle. Uh. uh, 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 uh. We we'll get rid of some uh, oh, trolls. Found. Yeah. We we'll get some super trolls. Oh bless them! I can't tell if that's what they are. Oh no! I'm quite, this is top content here. Uh, well, I would talk, but you blocked me out of the view. You can still talk. Okay. I can still hear you. So, um, uh, where is it? Yeah, that's it. You're alive and yeah. you've crashed, and that's it. I think it. I am. You're putting me off. You're putting me off doing that. Get it done. I can't, like, figure out where he is. Oh, this guy. You got him? Uh, yeah. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Hope you're okay, Todd. Yeah, I'm alright. So, got the move. So, what else have we done this week, Tommy? How many times have you ridden this week? A lot. How many? Actually, not that many. Probably like three. But what since Monday? That's not bad, really. No. But you're, he's gonna. I just reminded me, I'm so strong for him. Parents' orders are um, a week off the bike if you get. If you well, he's not knocked out. He passed out, but and he's going to be sore tomorrow. He's hurt his shoulder. That's what you're doing. You're showing what you did to yourself. Yeah, but I've finished my Strava. I've been Strava in like every ride, even pump tracks, just out of curiosity. What was your longest there. ride you've done so far at a pump track? Uh, I've only been like two times. Yeah, I've recorded like two times. This one's 15k, but that's got the drive back. Um, well, the drive back's only like 3k, 4k, probably. Yeah, do that. That's not bad. Yeah. Do you not ride dirt trails? There's none that are close, really. But um, the, the sun near us, I'm gonna, I was going to go and help dig this weekend. I might still. Oh, THs? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. 
So, uh, what have we been up to this weekend? This uh, I did an amazing weekend in Wales, over in North Wales. You'll see one of the vlogs has gone out um, from when we did Land Degra over to Trevor Woods, and Neil took us around and showed us his, his track that he built in Trevor Woods over lockdown. Um, we did have another vlog coming out in six days' time. Sandwiched in between that was um, Todd's Windhill one, wasn't it? But yeah. the other vlog has had to be taken down, which is really annoying. I hate it when that happens. It's not very often that happens, but um, yeah, it's uh, we got some complaints by the locals. Um, they complained to Neil who showed his round, which is really annoying because it was more off piste tracks, but it was absolutely no way of telling where they were. Um, you know, there's no... Somebody's watching. Come on. You turn it down in there. It's not really putting me off. I can hear myself talking like uh, with a big delay. Come on, Red. Can you come? Thank you. Right. So, yeah, basically, it's one of them where, you know, local track builders have uh, decided that even though they'll film it and put it all over their media and they'll have famous riders there riding it and putting it all over their media. I'm not allowed to do it, even though there's no way you'd have known, ever known where it was because I edited it like that. But because they'd moaned to my friend, who's a good friend, and I don't want to put him in an uncomfortable position, I've had to pull the video down. And, uh, yeah, I'm really gutted about that. I hate it when that happens. All right. Hi. Hi. What? What's going on, man? Ah, okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, two days in Wales. Well, you rode, you rode both days with me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. We were eating. I rode on the Thursday I rode Malvern, Friday I rode Windhill, yeah. Saturday I rode Wales, Sunday I rode Wales. And Sunday you got to ride with Katie Wakeley. How fast is she? Katie yeah, but how fast is she? She's unreal, isn't she? Yeah. Um, uh, Jim, you've got the same knee tattoos as you as me. Really? Who's that from? Nicky Gilletti. <laughs> I did them myself when I was nineteen and very drunk. <laughs> um, Telford has a good set of dirt jumps. Yeah, I know, but I can't drive. Yeah, it's it's a shame, isn't it? There's nothing actually in Shrewsbury in the local sort of area. They just get trashed, though, really, wouldn't mm. they? There's digger land, isn't there? But then that's a fair old ride. Yeah, you could do oh, fair old ride. We've been there the other day. It's just it's a lot so, of work, and so many people know about it. Like mm. all like just everyone goes there. Yeah, need your own. Yeah, maybe we'll do one in the garden. Maybe you could have just one jump. And rolling <laughs> off the house. Yeah. Um, Todd, do you... Oh, I'll go for that. Start from the top, because then we won't lose him. Um, Todd needs a neck brace from Liat, maybe. What? No, not really. Mm. Think, well, it's weird. The neck braces were all the rage in downhill for a while, and they seem to have disappeared again now. Isn't I think... it because, like... If you have a big crash, it'll help you. But if you have a smaller crash, you're more likely to break your collarbone. Yeah, mm. And uh, I tried them when I was doing uh, the dirt bike, the motorbike enduros, and I thought they were horrible. Because in motorbike enduros, you do loads of steep ups and steep downs. And when you're going down a really steep, section on a motorbike you need to look down you couldn't look down because you, it like stopped your helmet going forwards that was a layout i think um saw you guys up at degler from tog all right all right stephen ingham jim what tire pressures on the gravel bike do you use uh, I run 30 front, 35 rear, and that's on a set of WTB somethings that I can't remember the name of. I can't remember the, name, the model. Um, oh, and I rode back from work yesterday, and I'm riding, uh, working on a landscaping job five miles to the side of Welshpool, and it was a massive ride. It was a pretty big ride, but with a massive climb. I was really pleased with myself, strava it. 
It was like four o'clock, I set off, got back at half six, dead chuffed myself, really excited to check my Strava. You didn't have to it, it failed. It gave me 1.3 miles. <laughs> that was gutted. Sonny's on here. Sonny's worked YouTube out. Whoa. All What's right, Sonny. Sonny? Uh, is it, it might be not with a real Sonny. <laughs> um, Todd, do you take racing seriously? Or do you wish to take it seriously, or are you more interested in social media and free ride? If I'm if I'm racing, then I'll try, obviously. But uh, I'm not like I won't beat myself up if I don't do very well. And I'm not extremely bothered about not racing. I just do what's fun. And uh, interested in social media? Yeah, I like making little edits. Right, then that's quite fun. There's a good comment by Durky123. Uh, right at the bottom. Uh, did you struggle getting your rock stop insert in? I tried it with a new set of Dr. Conti de Kaiser. I'm going to get it on when it got to the last bit. Not even the LSB. LBS could do it. Uh, not at all. And I, I, I put it in on a brand new tyre in MVs, which have got that rim strip as well. And that rim strip, it makes it I mean, I, bear in mind, I tried to fit a, uh, well, I did fit a, oh, what's the really expensive ones? I can't think what they're called now. Cushcore. Cushcore. And that was a nightmare. That was as hard to do as a bloody motorbike moose. But when I got the rock stops, I didn't find it any harder than just as if nothing was in. I think it's all technique, really. You've just got to get the technique right. You've got to make sure that you get the rim in get the tire into the inner bit of the rim all the way around before you do that last bit that's the most important bit really um jeremy is that titley yeah. saw you and sonny at degler on sunday we had an amazing weekend sonny is a geezer from oliver seven everyone loves sonny um i hope that is you sonny i've never seen you actually i didn't, I didn't I, he's never even known how to sign in to the youtube so, uh, yeah, it'd be cool if it is. Um, Have you been to the Langoflin DH trails yet from Layla Bradbrook? Uh, yes, once, but after this weekend and the fact that I've got so much bother about filming those trails, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign us both up to Langoflin, which is £20 a year, and then you can either go and uplift yourself yeah. or you can be uplifted, but you obviously have to pay extra for that. Or you can just go on e-bikes and there's loads of trails there. We can feature them all because they're all part of the person's the land page. that you're paying for. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to do from now on when we go over there. It's definitely sunny. Yeah, it's definitely sunny. <laughs> sunny, we, we, we can't put the video up from Sunday. They've been in touch with um, Neil and been moaning about it, about the fact I filmed it's Saturday. It's a Saturday one still up. Saturday one still up. I'm not taking that down. At the end of the day, that was showcasing Neil's own track. Yeah. But Sunday, you know, I mean, we could say now it's North Wales, but it didn't even, you wouldn't have even known that. It's all, um, it was all kept super secret the way I'd edited it. And uh, yeah, had to take it down because um, just to, keep people from being on Neil's back about it really. Anyway. Yeah. Sonny. <laughs> uh, do you guys ever ride Cum Khan in Wales? The last time I rode Cum Khan was with Sonny. I think it was no, one it of, wasn't. Wasn't it? It was when we raced and we saw Sam Pilgrim. Ah yeah that's right. Yeah but I think the only time I've been there and just ridden was with Sonny and he was on his orange crush hardtail. I could barely keep up with him. I was on my full bouncer. Such a speedy hard tailor. Um, Sonny, who's faster, you or Joel? Uh, well, if you're looking at race results, so far I'd say me, but since we were Isn't racing... Sonny, who's faster, you or Joel? Someone said, asking Sonny and Joel. Oh, I'd say Sonny. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's only when he stays on. Well, I thought they meant me or Joel, in which case I'd say 
it depends what sort of track it is, really. Yeah. I think I've got a better race head on me than Joel, because he's young. Yeah, he... Do you remember when we went to Milan and he sort of yeah. talked himself out of it a bit, didn't he? If he didn't do that, I think he'd do well in he's got, Yeah, I rode with him the other night and he was absolutely flying. I've got, I filmed that as well when we went to Eastridge, so I've got a vlog out of that. Yeah. Um, what happened, Todd, at the pump track? Um, the shortened version, because you already said. I landed funny in a whip and landed on my head. There you go. Now, it's half past, so let's do the what arrived this week. Have you got all the sample t-shirts and coats? Well, no. So, we actually had, show them the helmet again, while it's there. We had, <laughs> yeah, we so saw, we they get. sent us another set of these by mistake. So, we've now got two sets of these. And I contacted him and said, I contacted the UK distributor, Sean, and he said, don't worry about it, hang on to him. You'll probably, and he said, hang on to him, you'll probably need him soon, keep the way you two crash. And literally, that was yesterday. But that's... Sean, that's, you've cursed us. Yeah, that's, that's still it. usable. So, uh, yeah, and we are waiting for the trail lids, which should hopefully be next week. I'll just ride, wear them every so often for mm. certain stuff. Not a big half face you guy, and this is one of the reasons. Um, okay, so I'll show you this up close because it needs to be shown up close. Love me out, it's a little bit big for me actually, yeah. covering my eyes up. So, RRP it. have sent us some proto stuff. This is for the mud guards. Uh, oh, now, on the bolt on mud guard, oh, the color went, color went all weird. On the bolt-on mud guards with the Olins, you've got a tilt bracket which goes between it and the crown, but there's a gap. So these are 3D printed prototype things, trying to get it to focus. There you go. And that fits in there. Um, got all the new rubber bits that protect your fork legs. And then uh, got these bags of straps for the strap on insert your own gag mug guard as well so we'll be testing all them out for craig uh also got sent some of this now we actually have discount codes for these happy bottom bum butter this stuff's amazing not just for your ringa dinga and under your ball baggio but to stop the um rubbing when you're riding you can use it on things like knee pads where they rub and it's just so good if you look in the description of any videos, you'll see that um, I think actually in this video, if you're watching it afterwards, we have a discount code for that stuff. Then, Todd, so, you want to tell people about this? Lean greens. Yes. This is trim formula. This is basically protein powder. And to I, I don't really use it, but Todd is flat out on this because obviously he's growing really fast at the moment. And he's riding and... I, I'm not going to say training, not training, not training but he, he, like he can't get the calories in, so he's on that every day, and they also sent us some top-ups, same with this, the Lean Greens, we have discount codes for that, um, Amber Boost, that is, what is that, I can't even remember what Amber Boost does, it's uh, turmeric, so yeah, look up turmeric, Magnesium, that stops you, well, it helps that you stop getting cramp and helps you sleep at night. And also, billions, which is like microbial stuff, is a bit like that uh, stuff you drink, like those yogurt drinks in the morning, good for your stomach and digestion. So, Todd, do you want to show me the other bits? Yeah, we've got, we showed the lean green too. Gravel. Ah, I'm sure the hurts. Gravelist. Tell them the story of that, Tom. T-shirts, but Dad posts them, and a lot of people are saying it sounds like anti-gravel. Well, it says gravelist, and these are samples. Show them the other one, Todd, if it's there. And uh, I put it on like a gravel group, 
on Facebook, and they didn't say when they read it, all they can read is grave list, like a list of graves. So I'm going to get them done, but it's not going to say gravel list. It's going to say um, seeking gravel, I think, or gravel seeking, one of them. Yeah. But this is my favourite, and these are we're definitely going to get because I think they're really nice in that uh, khaki green. Is it khaki green, Tom? Yeah. So they will be on the merch site. And finally, we are going to be testing these if it will ever rain. We have our own waterproof jackets. They're doing that side for the final design. But um, it's, yeah. it's a test. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what, what's, what's arrived this week. You can read some more shizzle out, Rodney. Um, Sonny the Legends in the chat from Speed Force Sim Racer. Um, does Jim like racing more than just the pedaling for fun? Uh, no, I'd say I like a, a mixture of the two, really. I wouldn't, if I did, if I just did racing, I would end up hating it. If yeah, I just a... did pedaling, I wonder why I was doing it, you know what I mean? I need a goal, a bit of a goal, and something to see how I'm getting on. Yeah. I got, I'm in the Grand Vets now, this year, and I, I, haven't, even done, I haven't even done a race in it. You're on e bike category anyway now. Yeah, but when I do get a pedal bike, I do want to do a Grand yeah. Vets pedal bike race, for sure. Because I, um, I looked at the results from Milan, and I reckon I could have won the Grand Vets. Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. Um, what riding shorts slash top would you recommend? Uh, Ion. That's who we who we use. That's what we run. Absolutely love them. Uh, if you want to look away from who we're sponsored with, quality but not silly money. Madison stuff is really good. Uh, Alpine Stars quite nice. Endurers meant to be. Endurers good, yeah. Uh, Rodney. Will Todd be racing in flats? Yeah. You don't ever ride clips now, do you? No, I raced in flats the other day. And yeah, not that interested in going back to flips anytime soon. Uh, Endura, an absolute rip off. Yeah, they are expensive. Are they? But they are from what I've heard they're really good quality. Well, I remember several years ago having their MT five hundred all singing, all dancing waterproof jacket. And I went to Bringewood for the day and it pissed down all day. And I had a brand new iPhone, I can't remember which model it was at the time, maybe six. Six when they first came out. First come out and uh, it was in a waterproof case. Ish. No, it was a possible life proof one, wasn't it? Life proof case, yeah. And it was in my pocket, and I thought, you know, it's in a waterproof jacket and it's in a life proof 50 quid case. And I drowned the phone and I had it right at the beginning of my um, contract, and I didn't have any insurance, so I had to spend like a year and a half with a crap phone after that. So I was like gutted, yeah, that there was no waterproofness going on there. How did you crash, Todd? I landed funny in a whip. I went over. I'm getting a load of message requests. So where's your where's your sore bits, Todd? Shoulder, mouth. Yeah. That's it. Your head doesn't hurt at all. Jaw. Yeah, yeah I'm crashing that. But you've got you've got scrapes on both wrists as yeah, well. But they don't really hurt. Does it properly, doesn't he? Uh, for trail addicts, thoughts on the resurgence in rowdy slap card tales? Yeah, why not? I mean, you yeah. know, if I was 10 years younger, I, I mean, I love my hard tail, I did when I had it, and I would ride one now, but, you know, you speak to Sonny the day after, or the few days after, he's been riding for a full weekend on the hard tail, and he's beat up. I think when you get a bit older, they're just so unforgiving. You know, you get... Your ankles were like um, wrists, just it's just like more of an offense on the body, really. Knees, yeah, not so much wrists because obviously you've got normal forks on it, haven't you? 
Um, I crashed last Thursday, knocked myself out and broke a rib at Brinkwood from Greg Jennings. Oh dear. Hope you're all right, mate. Um, tips on holding the manual. I get the height, but not the distance. I don't know if weight and size is part of it from Leila Bradbury. Um, Told you the manual, King. I don't know. It depends. You can't really tell unless you see him doing it. Mm. Send Todd, Leila, get a side on video of you trying it and send Todd the video and he'll give you some tips. I'll try anyway. I'm not like very good at giving tips, but I'll give it a go. Uh, best beginner jump bike, wherever you can get. They're yeah. all, there's nothing that's like... Well, jump bikes are pretty jump. reliable, aren't yeah. they? So get yourself a second hand one off uh, paint bike or something like that. I imagine they the price of them has gone through the roof, same as everything else at the moment. Um, Roads are hard to on the uplift at Inners. Boy, boy, my hands sore for that week after from Archie Marshall. I can imagine, yeah. That is. I remember doing the uh, that weekend or over a year ago, uh, Avan, where it was the Welsh Gravity Enduro on the Saturday and then the British Enduro on the Sunday. And I rode hardtails that weekend. And I won, I think I won the British and I was second in the Welsh and having to do that track called Blade that was like six minutes long and yeah. really rough and rocky, I felt like I'd been beaten up when I got to the bottom of that, it was savage. And that, you feel like that on a normal bike. Yeah. Um, hiring a trek bike at the Dale Centre tomorrow, Hard Rock area, should be fun. Sorry, bike I meant. E-bike, bloody spell cheek from Tattoo Bloke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. But, uh, has anyone yeah. heard anything from Hard Rock? We haven't heard anything. Yeah. I think they're I think they're playing it cool and waiting until they know hundred percent that it can go ahead. Because yeah. unlike the Mulvans, they know that everybody will just flock. They'll just as soon as they say it's on, it's on and everybody will be back there because it's tried and tested. And, you know, the Malvern side is all about promotion and promotion. He's already got more people booked on than he had in 2018, was it? Yeah, because that's like, he's just done one. Mm. He hasn't. I think 2018 had four and a half thousand people, so he's doing all right. Such geezer. Um, Can I have another beer, please, my gorgeous wife? <laughs> Um, oh, there's no odd. She's getting a funny look. Um, Todd, get yourself some tiger balm for your neck and shoulder. Works wonders. I'm oh. 40 and don't bounce like I used to, but swear by tiger balm. Who's that by? Dead mouse. Yeah, tiger balm's amazing. I did years of Thai boxing and we used to use tiger balm all the time. It's amazing stuff. I have to get your mum to get you some from probably the chemist. Yeah. I used to import <laughs> bottles of it from Thailand. Why? Because it's really expensive. And you used to get the bottles of it and you'd like just cover yourself in it before you start sparring. You're slippy. <laughs> um, my Trek Rail 9 e-bike keeps snapping the chain when I put my power down. Any suggestions? I replace the link. The chain one two six link Shimano to like three links out and I suggested snap that straight away. Really? Take it back to your uh, whoever you got it from and tell them that's not that shouldn't be happening at all. Yeah. Um. Beat hermit. All right, you lads. Recent vlog's been great. Thank you very much. Um. Well, Rooney, are you still going to do the Lamb Bufflin Welsh Enduro since it's been postponed? Think uh, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. The, well, the first one's going to be Land Egler, and I was all like, oh, I'm not doing Land Egler, not as a race, it'd be boring. But now I'm thinking, do you know what? We might as well, because it's something to do. Do you want to do it? Yeah. He'd like it. 
You want an e-bike? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you want fun on that. Mm. Um. Best riding in Scotland for trail slash enduro from Lena Bradbrook. Golfy and in Elephant. And yeah, Forest. Yeah, Forest is brilliant. Yeah, Forest. Yeah. Um, Jim, oh, I'd love a beer. Matt Tempany. Jim, can you tell us more about cycling insurance for injuries, etc.? Is it expensive? How do they cost it? And is there any limitations? Uh, oh, big questions there. So I've got the one through Helen Gaskell. And if you want to find a look on Pin TV Instagram, go up to uh, just go up till you see a picture of the fractured hand, and she's tagged in there. It's easy. To, it's easy to find it. It's like MTV Insurance UK or something. And I think mine's like uh, everybody's yeah. different per month, so don't go on what mine costs because I've had mine running for years. And mine's like, um, I've got the double one, which is like £16 a month. You can have it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Made an Indian. Uh, cheers, love. Thanks. Yeah, it's MTB Insurance UK. So, yeah, basically mine's, I think it's like £18 a month. And uh, it, mine covers me for fractures, which is quite rare for the health, mountain bike health Thank insurance. You crash insurance whatever you call it quite a lot of them don't cover you for fractures um and i got for a fractured metacarpal which is basically that bone there where your thumb meets your wrist um i got two thousand quid all i had to do was get a letter off the doctor uh from the a and e just to say what happened basically you can phone up and ask for your notes and they'll send it here, and all I had to do was screenshot that letter, send it on to Helen, and the next day I had to ring the insurance and tell them, basically confirm my details, and they said, right, well, we'll process the claim, and you'll have the money within a week. It was that simple. Uh, the only thing I will say is I now can't claim till September, but, you know, it's not such a bad thing, otherwise people would be breaking their own hands every day. <laughs> um, Jim, do you think they'll be stable until it gets into its hardcore teen years when it want to stop doing the live streams or even the videos? Hardcore what? Teen years. No, I don't think so. No, I don't really do anything after them, right? Uh, well, you're only you're still only young, dude. You'll yeah. definitely be changing soon, but um, we'll just see. Take each day as it comes, don't you? Oh. Any more, Rodney? Some pork. I have a cook a mouthful. Oh, yeah. When is the Land Degler race? I don't know. It's quite soon, isn't it? Or is it? No. No, I think it's like a month or so away. Hold on. Oh, I'm fine, mate. What else have we got? Uh, Archie Marshall. Keep him. Oh, out. the rough stuff, I think he wants to go out on, on the bloody rough stuff. Oh, do you mean, how is it? I mean, stuff. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Red. No way to happen. Um, Seen the errors of his dad's ways when I was younger. Randagra, 5th of June. Let's talk more about a career in the cycling industry. You're sort of getting there now, aren't you? Yeah. I just want to make the videos. And hopefully in a year and a half, when I leave school, it's doing well enough that I can just do that. Mm. So, but I'm still going to have to do, what you call it, college. But I you still think you'd like to go to base? No. Well, not at all. Why? It's far away, isn't it? I've got all my mates here. Not even when you're driving? No. Okay. All my, all my bikes and 
everything. Like, imagine if we're getting, like, new bikes and stuff, mm. and I'm in Scotland. Mm, yeah. It's, it'd make everything a faff. Um, cricket from 7.15 to 8.30 makes me miss the start of the live. Big sad from Joe Monty. Cricket? Yeah, cricket. Okay. <laughs> I think we'll move on from that one. Um, no. I wanted to do the Degla race, my first race ever, but it's sold out. Any first race recommendations? Not a clue where and what to race, but obviously not six hours away from Old Stoke. Stoke, Doc. It's Ashley. Um, oh. God. Where else could he race? Where's it open? Wherever, mate, you know, you've got some skills on a bike. I don't think you need to worry about, um, you know, we've ridden you with you, so we know what you can ride like. You'd be able to do anything, wouldn't you? Yeah. Give it a go. Mm. Wherever well, you can get in, basically. Yeah, whatever's not far away. And, yeah, what's not sold out. Mm. Um, what is that place you stayed in that last week in Nandegla? We didn't stay, it was sunny. Yeah. Uh, it's literally next door to Landegla, so close. If you are driving to Landegla and you're coming from the local village and you turn left into Landegla, then just after the left turn, you've got like a little lay-by there, haven't you, where some people actually park because they're too tight to pay the parking. Well, in that, in that sort of bit there, there's a driveway up and it's there. It's like a farmhouse there. It's really cool, actually. Rats, mate. My jaw. Where's it hurting? There. Is it? Um, like what is. I don't know. Where do you that one? Matt Tampanier, you're having GoPro problems in the last vlog. Is it sorted now and not freezing? Mm, um, well, the handheld, which is a Hero 7. That was the oldest one because Todd had gone away with the other cameras and then when he got back, they weren't charged. So, uh, yeah, that was playing up a bit. But So I've swapped it since then. I've got three Hero 7s. And the 9, I accidentally set it to 4K. So that video you watch is actually in 4K. And you will never know the difference in 4K and 2.7 because it doesn't. you can't see it on you your tell the difference. With your own eyes between 4K and 1080, and that's on a massive screen now. But 4K is a lot more for the camera to deal with, isn't it? So when, like me, you turn it on and off all the time, it sometimes just goes, oh, I'm not going to work. <laughs> yeah. And you have to keep taking the battery out. And then, so yeah, I film on 2.7, 60 frames per second. And on the next ride, I set it to that and I had no problems with it at all. A couple of times, I had to take the battery out. I think that's quite standard with him, really. Um, Archie Marshall, Jim, might be a strange question, but are you the main source, main source of income in the family, or is it Cassie? And Ashley Bright said, Daniel is the main source of income. <laughs> if Cassie was the main source of income, we wouldn't be eating this. We'd be eating a bowl of rice. Uh, no, we all work. Cassie works as a teacher's assistant. I've got pinned, which is, it's all right. It's definitely not a career. And I work, um, yeah, it was going to be. And I work as a landscaper um, for a mate who gets some very, very posh jobs. We're working at such a posh job at the moment over in Welshpool. I'm not, well, I can say who it is, but I just can't say where it is. You've just said. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, but I'm not telling them where exactly it is. It's a, it's an ex leader of the Conservatives, put it that way. And I'm not allowed to post any pictures online of it, but the the job is unbelievable. Um, went to Nancy Aaron on Sunday. Love it up there. Will you boys be going back up there at the same time? Will we? Yeah. See, Nancy Aaron's another one, isn't it? It's like. Everyone who goes there knows about the Grim Reaper. Yeah. That's the off-piece bit. It's the most fun. But if I go up there and film the Grim Reaper, I get so much crap off people. 
all the local, you know, trail builders and the people who go, mm, you shouldn't be filming here, blah, blah, blah. So I've got to start and think about this more and more now, where I'm filming and what I'm filming. Because, yeah. uh, you know, it's a touchy subject. Um, went to Nancy Aaron on Sunday. Love, oh, I've just read that one. What is the best <laughs> GoPro for me just starting out on a GoPro from Sheldon Morgan? If you can afford it, mate. If you can afford it, get the nine because it's way better. But if you can't, get a seven. Or an eight. Forget an eight. No, forget an eight. Eight's crap. It's you can't replace the front lens. Yeah, true. And it's more money than a seven, and it's no better than a seven. Yeah. The um, yeah, but if you're getting them, get the black. Oh yeah, definitely get the black. Yeah, don't get that. Yeah. Um. You lads up for Dovey on the ninth from Mason Fisher. So now, not a clue. A lot of stuff's in the balance of my hand at the moment, but it is starting to get better now. It's three weeks today I did it. Is it? Mm. it doesn't feel like that long. No, but I've done four rides since then. Yeah. Um. So what did Daniel's dad say about him breaking his Santa Cruz? The nuke proof and he didn't break it, it was all good, so he wasn't too bothered, I didn't think. Where is the Matt Zaff bugger this weekend, isn't it? This weekend, I don't know, but he didn't come today because his girlfriend's been went out yesterday. Did he? Went to punch out yesterday. Um, what about Leo? Leo, I just got a new phone today, he's been saying about it in the group chat. And um, he almost got annoyed because he thought he bought a nicked phone because it didn't come charged and then it had a password on it and he couldn't get into it. But it yeah. turns out they just put the password as 1111 for shipping. Um, uh, nearly at 20k, when do you think you'll hit it from Will Rooney? I don't know, it slowed right down at the moment, the subscribers. I don't really stress over it anymore. Um, I think the only way I'm going to start speeding that up again is doing more collaborations, which is sort of still a little bit difficult. But I will look at doing that. Look how good the the bike and the sky in the background looks now. Now that the sun's gone down, looks good, doesn't it? Cool, that, isn't it? Cool, man. What's on your trip list? Next one I want to learn as soon as possible is series. And after that, don't even know. I want to try and spin, but I'm not very good at spinning. Um, spin, as in bar spin? No, like 180s for oh, right. I can just about 180 every so often, but they're not like, if, what trick, what can you do at 180 on other than like flat and then carry on? You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, what is tomorrow's video? It is me at Winter Bike Park. Yeah. Ruben's birthday with Harry and Daniel. And it was really good. That was a lovely homemade Indian meal. Thank you, my wife, Cassandra. Cheers, mother. Uh, I've got any other stuff? Uh, give away in about eight minutes. Who is it? Mm. You're right. Correct, man. Chew. Mason Fisher. Going winter or something, look forward to it. It's insane. It's so good. I can't wait to go there after watching your video. It was really good. Um, uh, would you do a video on how to service the Olin's coil? No, definitely not. Because uh, JTEC are our sponsors and they do that Coil for us uh, and yeah i don't really want to get into trying to service them i mean i could i'd possibly get joel to do a lower uh is it upper service the you know the simple service where yeah. you do the seals and everything I think that's lower leg lower leg yeah but no that's not for me really i could do it if i had to but why harry is that Bellis? Yeah, Bellis. Bellis. Clips or flats? Flats. Flats all the way. I used to be clips. I was clips for 25 years 
and yeah, I saw the light about. I, I brought you to the about a year ago. Would you say? It's a year and six months ago. My first ride on them was Boxing Day 2019. And then I got an e-bike where you don't really need clips anyway. If you are a clipped rider. Because they stick to the ground better because of their weight and obviously you don't need to be pedaling them as hard you don't need to be pushing so much but then i went to using normal bike with them with flat pedals and i was like Do you know what this is loads of fun and now the only thing i'm clipped in on is the gravel bike um and look where that got me <laughs> well both are a bit broken at the moment um, can you do a backflip? I can safely say that I can't. I wish I could. Uh, Archie Marshall, Jim, you need to spend a couple of weeks in Scotland riding all the gems in summer. All the gems? Yeah, that's, yeah that's definitely, cool. yeah. Love to. They'd be men. Um, so, do you send your forks over to JTEC for the 50? HR services. No, <laughs> I should do. What's that? 50 hour. It's 50 hour service. Yeah, and uh, do you know what? They're so reliable. The, the, the Olin stuff is so reliable. I don't think we've had anything serviced yet, have we? No. The whole time that we've had Olin. And they still yeah, run okay. so well. I think Perhaps whether we, we have at any point. <laughs> Yeah, well, they that. still feel, you know, with a fork, when you squish on them, you know if they're starting to feel wrong. I can tell yeah. straight away. Um, when are you next going to the Dovey from Somerset Sanders? In the next couple of weeks, as soon as I feel up for it. I'm, I'm half tempted to go on Sunday, actually, but I think I might leave it another week. It's not even open on Sunday. Oh, yeah. No, it, does he mean W Bike Park or? Yeah, W Bike Park opens in exactly oh, a week. See, I want to go there when I get a pedal bike, but they're struggling to find me one at the moment just because there's no stock. But I am on the case. But you know, I spoke to them last week, and they basically basically said, "Look, we, we're struggling to find you one because nobody has any stock." And you know, when it comes to stock and selling stuff, they've got to sell stuff before they give stuff away, have not they? Which yeah. is understandable. And I can't, you know, I can't moan. I've got a beautiful e bike and I love it. So, take your gravel bikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Kurt TV, have you ever had a Trek bike? I've just got a Trek Marlin 6 2021. I've got a Trek Marlin 7 and I've been riding it for the past week at pump tracks because I knackered the headset on that. That's your school bike, basically, isn't it? Yeah. You uh, swapped it with Daniel, didn't you? For for my old jump bike. It was Daniel's first mountain bike, and uh, it it's knackered now. It but what was your down. first decent mountain bike? Track Fuel EX Junior. And that was a lovely bike. That was, was such sick. a good bike. Did Todd like Windhill? Yeah, it was incredible. I loved it. Todd's favourite word is definitely um, Archie Marshall. Shush. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm going to go ping every time you say it now, just to do your head in. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Alarm, alarm time. Giveaway time. Oh. Have you got a question? No. Have you? No. Okay. I'm going to give it a question. Right. So, remember, we say this every time we do this. The first, in fact, before I say this, I'll tell you what I haven't done yet, is I haven't mentioned that it's a Buicor live show. So it's a Buicor live show, and if you like the Buicor stuff, a bit like this t-shirt, which is probably the my favourite thing they do, you can go on their site and put in Buicor 10, uh, pins 10, capital letters pinned, and the number 10, you get 10% discount, and they do like things like changing robes, um, caps. Ping. Huh? Ping. Ping. You said um. Oh, sorry. You did then. Uh, ping. Ping. <laughs> I did it for myself. <laughs> anyway, so as I said, or as I usually said, it's the first comment or correct answer that appears on our screen, not on yours, because it's different for everyone else's. 
What helmet is it that Todd crashed in? We know it's a Cali, but what exact model is it? Model as what well. is the model? No, yeah. no, no, no. Yes. No, no. I said the exact one. There's two of them. What? We've got the Invader 2.0. Oh, Invaders. No, just the Invader. I'm going to go for that. D09. D09 is the first one. D09. I didn't even know it was an O2 or whatever you said. Yeah, yeah no. Cali Invader. D09. Uh, um, uh, look, nobody's written it anyway until you actually said yeah. it. Uh, so, what was his name again? D89. D89. Well done, mate. You have won. Uh, email me your details at jim at pintv.co.uk and you win the swag. You got a swag, son. Swag. Well he done. donated 20 quid on my birthday as well. So, it's all right. Fair play. There you go. It swings and roundabouts, karma and all that. <laughs> Get what you give. The Cali Darth Vader. <laughs> what, uh, what other stuff? What do you mean, what other stuff? Asda five pound helmet. <laughs> Uh, what are, have we got any more comments? No, because it's all it's all just uh, one done. that goes on. Your head. Is JTEC in Shrewsbury? JTEC is literally, I mean, literally a yeah. stone's throw from my house. Uh, we live so close to JTEC, it is ridiculous. Um, can I message you on Instagram, Jim? Uh, you know. You can do. I'd rather you email me because I get a lot of messages and quite often I lose them. Uh, the best thing probably is to message Todd, isn't it? Yeah, at Todd me, T zero D N E Y. He'll know yours. Yeah, message Todd, not me. Is Eastridge still worth the trip with all the logging at the minute from Alex Duggan? Well, Alex. In six days, instead of my lovely Welsh edit that I wanted to put out, I'm going to have an Eastridge edit, which is from Wednesday night, where we went to find out. Um, yeah, it's sound, because all the tracks that we pretty much have ever ridden are on the backside of it, and that hasn't been touched by the login. Um, we feature them, uh, I think it's six different tracks. Mason Fisher's telling, telling Will Rooney off, because he put... Ask the five pound on it, or yeah, he already said Cali Invader 2. It was a joke, like when people say, What's the new bike to like Carrera? Don't worry, it's not calling it a shit helmet, Mason, but it's been, it's been blocked because he said a swear word. Um, is Eastridge still worth the trip with all the rocking at the minute? Yeah, definitely. I've just answered that before. Uh, uh, gonna pop to JTEC for my suspension set up properly from Greg Jenny. Greg, make sure you ring them. Uh, they are proper hack and COVID aware. <laughs> they like everything done correctly. Don't just turn up. Salematics, thanks for the giveaway win on the last show, guys. You're welcome. Uh, Tyler Morris. Tom, can you make an XXL FSL B hoodie, please? Message me on Instagram. I'll talk to you. Saw so you guys up around Degler on Saturday. I was hyped from Tom Lloyd Jones. Was that the lad who was in the motor home who came up? Oh, yeah, there? that's it. Yeah. How you doing, mate? Might be, anyway. Uh, what bikes are you thinking of getting this year from, is that Kurt TV? Mm -hmm. We've got them. We are, well, we're on Rocky Mountain. I've got the, in uh, Todd's got the Instinct 29er power play. I've got the Altitude 650 power play, which I've mulleted. Todd has this jump bike here. Uh, and Todd also has uh, the Rocky Mountain Slayer. Slayer. And I have requested a pedal bike and they're trying to get me one. And then eventually we, oh well, I know I'm eventually going to get the 2022 e-bike, which I think is going to be super sick. Yeah. Uh, young words. That was young words for me. Sick rad. No. Uh, we're happy as we are. So anything better than that is an, an absolute bonus. We're super stoked to be on 
um, Rocky Mountain. It's amazing. It still feels a bit like a dream. So whatever we get, we get. I don't, I'd be happy to hang on to mine for another year, to be honest. Yeah. Would not um, we? Yeah. You love that sleigh, yeah, don't you? You love your e-bike. It's just if I grow, it might be the only issue. We'll just have to see what happens with... Uh, jump bikes. Jump bikes, because... I don't know whether people have realised yet. Nobody has mentioned it in one video, but we actually have sort of come away from DMR now, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why that's called his jump bike. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we might be replacing that at some stage with a different jump bike, but obviously uh, Rocky don't do one. So I'm putting the feelers out with a few different, different companies. I wish you put your feet in it, it's a bit weird. Hey. I wish you have your feet See, in that it. was really comfy, but then I looked on the on the screen and it did look really weird, so I put it down again. <laughs> uh, Matt Anthony, Fox Teeth Ride Bikes. Right, right. <laughs> um, been looking at the common style meta and signature. Seen any while she's been out and about from George George Hart Sean or Hart Sean. The common style what? Meta or signature. Uh isn't that what Joel's got a meta. Yeah. Joel's on it now. We've actually asked Joel to do a long term review. And we're gonna see if he can come up with something mm. for that. Uh Joel, I did let go of the bars. Hello, Joel. Don't, don't you worry. Todd's a helmet. Correct. I was wearing one. Uh, Kurt TV, how long did it take you to do your first proper jump, Todd? Depends what you define proper jump as. You're going to have to be a bit more specific. Mm. First dirt jumpy type thing I cleared was at the old pin trails on Tyler's yeah. jump bike. Yeah. I missed them. I'm Imagine trying to think what this. was the first one I saw you do when I thought, oh shit, he's going to be good at this. Um, first ones I can remember. I remember like, Landegla once yeah. when you were really young. And I remember you getting over them and thinking, wow, he's just done. Remember doing the little set on the left? Yeah, it was like my third or fourth. And I was one. terrified. And then I can't I'm trying to think what was the first biggest jump that I saw you do. It was probably when we went to W Bike Park. You mean you big No, you were sending stuff before that, weren't you? Free ride at Revs. Or yeah, it's probably Revs or maybe Forrester Dean. Some stuff there. I didn't I haven't really done anything there until not long ago. Rampage when you did that? Yeah. Hard probably line. that. Uh, Kurt TV, I've just started doing little jumps in my local woods, yeah. And then just that's what you do, do little jumps and move on to bigger jumps. I'm still on little jumps. What <laughs> was your email again, Jim? Jim at pintv.co.uk. Yes, I can memorize that. Just message you, Todd. Thanks, Tyler Morris, my guy. Yeah, I do. B fifty five MTB. I saw you as well at Landegla. We. Hello. I'm sure, a lot of people at Landegla. It was quite busy, wasn't it? The van got a bit of recognition because they got the magnetic pin stickers. They're not magnetic of their stickers. Right. The magnetic pinned signs on oh, it now. Pin magnets. Pin magnets. Yes. Yeah, very good. Um. We. Yeah. So, guys, the next vlog is tomorrow night. That's Todd at Windhill. Uh, and that's it, really. Thank you very much, as usual, oh. for watching. What, what, what? Usual random comment right at the end. Tattoo bloke. My mate has never fired in front of his mess as he goes to the bathroom to do it. <laughs> Your mate is really weird, and he's got a weird relationship with his missus if he can't fart in front of her. That is wrong. Yeah, Mum, we did that last week, and Steve, no, I've got no cracks on the helmet. Paint scratches, yes. Thanks yeah. for watching, everybody. Love you, bye. Mm -hmm.